Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube and uh, check the description for everything about me. I do all the problem, lead code problems and they're all on my YouTube channel, so just check those out. It's the same intro as every other video. Uh, this one's called Flatten Binary Tree to a Linked List. And we don't really flatten it to a linked list at all. I don't even really know why it's called that. It says, given a binary tree, flatten it to a linked list in place. So for example, given the following tree, so we have a tree, we would turn it into this. So basically, as we can see here, we're basically kind of just turning it into a tree. It is kind of a list type thing, um, but it's, it's uh, yeah, I could see how they could say linked list because none of these have a left child. So basically now it's just only nodes with right childs. And if you wanted to think about it, it would be like a node just dot next. And the right dot right would now be dot next or whatever if you wanted to think about it like that. But um, yeah, we're basically taking these and turning it into position wise kind of an in. We're taking the position of the nodes and turning it into a position wise ordered kind of uh, path here of all right ch children, right? So um, basically the right children will be in all the right children of the nodes will be kind of in order of uh, the previous tree position wise, right? So as you'll notice, all of the, you'll basically be taking the left children and be setting them to the right children of from root down. Um, so yeah, you could see just position wise, like one, two, three, four. So it's kind of left most to right most is how we're kind of, um, going to be traversing this tree and setting the right nodes, right? So to do this, all we have to do is if root equals null, it's pretty easy, honestly. So uh, return, a lot easier. I've seen harder, easier problems in trees than this. So uh, then we'll have our stack like all the other problems. So we have a stack of tree nodes. We'll call it stack equals new stack. Uh, add the root to it, just like the other ones. While the stack's not empty. Um, so while the stack isn't empty, pop the current node, uh, tree node, current node equals stack dot pop. And then what we do is since it's a stack, we're going to traverse, we're going to add the right node to the stack first because we actually want the left node first. So we're going to add the right node to the stack first. So what we do is if current node dot right, this will make sense in a second, uh, right is not equal to null. Uh, stack dot push current node dot right and then same thing for the left now left is afterwards dot left is uh, not equal to null um, stack dot push current node dot left right so you push the right then you push the left and then all you have to do down here is if you do the same check again stack isn't empty because I'll explain that in a second too, then you do current node dot right is equal to stack dot peak. And you're gonna set, yeah, we'll go through an example here. Um, and then you set every node, no matter what, they're left to null, because you can see every node's left is null. So let's go over an example here. So the first node we're gonna put on is one, right, for the root. Um, you would check, you'd see the left node is two and the right node is five. So you push the right node onto the stack, which is five. And then you push two onto the stack for the left node. Then you just do this check down here. If the stack's not empty, which it's not, it has five and then it has two. We pull two off, because that's the peak. And we said, well, we don't pull two off. We just get it, we get two, because that's the peak. So the stack peak is two, and we set one dot right to two. And you can see one dot right is two here. And you do that over and over again, and eventually it sets all the proper right nodes, and it sets every left node to null. And it does that because, and, and you have to do this check down here, uh, this, this second if stack is not empty check down here, because let's say it was just a root node. So all we have is a root node in our tree. We pop the root node off the stack, so it's just one. You add nothing because the left and right are null, so these never get executed. And then you would have to do this check because you don't want to set right, there's nothing in the stack to set the right to. So that's why we just do the second stack. We just do the second check here because we are popping off the stack. So we, we're technically decreasing the size of the stack, so we do have to make sure that the stack has something in it. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It would set all the, it takes all the left nodes kind of, puts them in the stack, and sets all the right nodes to the first 
left the leftmost nodes and then as we go the right nodes get set to other right nodes so it's kind of a left to right type of deal here and uh, hopefully I explained that pretty well let me know in the comments if I need to do better it's pretty kind of self-explanatory I don't think it's that hard of one if you really just think about it and go through a couple solutions in your head um, that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching check out some other solutions and I'll see you guys later